Hi and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled The Best and Worst Supplements That Slow Aging, Why Some Supplements Are Pointless, that was produced by the YouTube channel Dr. Tim Pierce is 45 minutes and 28 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember now I'm semi-retired. I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days, as well as reading articles, scientific studies, and listening to podcasts when I exercise. And I only review the videos like this one that I think are gonna give good longevity value. So although it's a critique of his original content, it is most certainly not a negative criticism. So first on their list is creatine. They say this supports muscle growth and there is emerging evidence indicating it may also now benefit longevity by improving muscle function and cellular energy. They score creatine as nine out of 10, which I think is a very fair score. They then move on to omega-3, which is very much in the zeitgeist at the moment. They say this helps reduce inflammation, lower triglycerides and boost HDL levels, which are all crucial for cardiovascular health and reducing age-related inflammation. They give omega-3 a score of 10 out of 10. As an aside, I've just started a supplement with omega-3. Vitamin D and vitamin K2 are next on their list. Vitamin D supports immune function and calcium absorption, while vitamin K2 directs the calcium to bones and away from our arteries, preventing arterial calcification. Again, they give these two a score of 10 out of 10. I do supplement with both of these compounds, and I think 10 out of 10, again, is a very fair score. But then move on to probiotics. These promote gut microbiome diversity, which is linked to better longevity and reduced systemic inflammation. They do also mention a few drawbacks by saying that the benefits of this supplement may depend on the strain and on an individual's specific gut health. They score probiotics as 7 out of 10. They then turn their attention to N-acetylcysteine, NAC, and glycine, together known as Glynac. NAC is a precursor to glutathione, the body's master antioxidant, and combining it with the glycine enhances its effectiveness in combating oxidative stress. The drawback, if you can call it that, is that the benefits may be more pronounced in older individuals who've already got a declining level of glutathione. Glynac is given a score of 9 out of 10. I think 9 may be a bit high. I'd probably go for 7 or 8. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. They then switch their attention to trimethylglycine, TMG. They mention that this supplement supports methylation, particularly when taking NAD supplements to prevent methyl donor depletion. They also say, as a drawback, it may not be necessary for individuals who do not have methylation issues then they give it a score of just five out of 10. I have to disagree with this. If you do supplement with NMN or NR, and this does deplete your methyl donor groups, it could be worth to you eight, nine, or even 10 out of 10. Then it's on to turmeric, and more specifically, its main ingredient, curcumin. This specific ingredient has potent anti-inflammatory properties, which can help combat age-related inflammation. They mention a drawback in that turmeric has low bioavailability, but high doses and formulations with black pepper or liposomal, liposomal curcumin are more effective. So they give this a score of just two out of 10. Then it's on to NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. This is an interesting one. Nicola Conlon focuses on the fact that NMN does boost NAD, but ignores the root cause of NAD decline. This, she states, could potentially lead to methyl donor depletion and less effective long-term benefits. Although this is easily remedied, in my humble opinion, with a cheap dose of TMG. She then doesn't actually give NMN a score. She just says it's low. Maybe because she runs a company that sells supplements that are in direct competition with NMN and also NR, nicotinamide, riboside. Why would she not give it a score? Is it focus on running a company or offering measurable information to those that really need it? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Then they move on to collagen. This has benefits such as supporting skin health and also collagen production. This can help maintain skin elasticity and also reduce wrinkles. They also mention that it is required in high doses to be effective. 
and that the benefits may be limited without any overall cellular health improvement. They then give collagen a score of 6 out of 10. Next, they address nitric oxide lozenges, saying that nitric oxide is a vasodilator that improves blood flow and may benefit cardiovascular health, but it has a very short half-life and the efficacy of supplements that claim to increase nitric oxide levels requires far more evidence. They give these lozenges a score of just 5 out of 10. Then it's on to Athletic Greens, or AG1, as they are now known. They agree that AG1 offers a convenient way to obtain a wide range of nutrients, especially for those who do have a poor diet. But as with many who are not fans of AG1, they say that AG1 is very expensive. And individuals who do have a balanced diet may not actually need to use AG1. As with NMN, there is no specific score offered. This is a long video and they do cover a lot of topics and there's a lot more information. My summary covers really just the basic points. But if you do want all the detail, I do suggest you watch the whole thing. And there's going to be a link in the description below to the full video. And if you would like to learn more about these supplements, look at my supplement stack in the description below. Each item has a link to a far more detailed video. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy these supplements from, please check out the big three, Renew by Science, Do Not Age and Pro Health Longevity. And if you do choose to buy from one of these, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off. And there's specific links in the description below to these products.